So for the full, more, most part, the first thing I want to say is for those of you, I feel like some of you guys are going to be taking a trip. Possibly you can be taking a trip with this person right here. This is an energy that came out in your reading. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is an air sign, which signifies like an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Possibly you might be taking some type of um, trip with them. I feel like right here, this is the answer to your burdens. I feel like some of you guys might feel like for you to go and travel or move to another place, you feel like that's going to kind of like answer, be the answers to your burdens, be the answers to your problems. I feel like um, possibly traveling by plane as well. I don't know why, but I feel like you're going as a, you're going to travel plane. You're not going to travel in a car. But anyways, this is, this is traveling by plane. Someone's going to travel pretty soon. I feel like some of you guys might be traveling for the month of February. If it's not February, then it's coming soon because the leaves are coming on the tree. The leaves are coming back. So I would say April, April, probably April, May, no later than that. I say April, ending of April, by the ending of April, you're going to be traveling with somebody. Okay. That person that you travel with, that that's that could be a girl or a woman. She could be possibly medium scared, uh, medium fair um, complexion, and could possibly have dark hair, but not dark as in like black. It could be just a darker color. But anyways, that person that you're going to be traveling with, that person's firm. She's steady. I feel like she's a very str that person is very a, a strong figure. So that person doesn't play around. You know, when they set their minds and goals to something, they're going for it. I feel like for you, possibly you can be a teacher or a boss or a father, and some of you guys might wanna um uh, might might want to do um try to try to basically help this person and try to give them ways to I feel like like try to give them be there for them like as a father try to be there for them try to guide them try to give them gui guidance give them knowledge okay I feel like a lot of you guys when you get money you spend it you might give it away Possibly some of you guys can give it to the, your loved ones or your friends, your family, I mean your children. I feel like when you get money, you're very nice with it. So you tend to just give it away as you as you get it, okay? So don't try not to be so um, so spendy because I feel like you, you give a lot of gifts. You give your money. Like if somebody needed help, you'll give it to them. So just try not to be like that. Possibly... Another thing I feel like too, possibly a lot of you guys could have been in a relationship in the past or are in a relationship for the month of February, but since the death card is here, I don't feel like, I feel like there was an end of something. Possibly you guys could have had an end of a relationship prior to this, and I feel like um, that relationship kind of left you like blocked, like guided, like you're always on the defensive. Maybe you might feel like you're always going to get hurt, or you don't let people in quickly enough, so I kind of feel like... Um, you're, you're always blocked. Even you, it could even be with like, sometimes some of you guys might be like that with your money. Like you won't share your money. You won't share your feelings. You won't let somebody in. You just have this wall up. Another thing too, somebody from the past might possibly come back to reconcile. So that person that you reconcile with, um, I feel like there's things that you, you know, there's hidden things. There's things that you need to talk about with that person. Possibly you guys are going to be exchanging your feelings and kind of, um, expressing yourself because if you look at it he's giving he's giving her a cup she's giving him a cup you guys are exchanging um emotions or feelings back and forth i feel like that's like calling truths like forgive and forget like saying sorry for the past mistakes um possibly moving forward okay i feel like um Towards this whole situation, some of you guys feel like you're blinded, like you're blocked, like you're stuck, like you're stagnant. Um, you're, I feel like you're, you're kind of just just with your eyes your eyes covered and you're not really looking at the situation for what it really is. I feel like there's hidden things that you don't know about. I feel like before you make a decision and actually want to reconcile with this person or something, this person that wants to come back and reconcile, really think about it. Because I feel like that person that possibly is coming back into your life or wants to talk to you, if you haven't already talked to them, they weren't honest with you. They lied to you. They deceived you, okay? This card is from the love deck from um, Doreen Virtue, um, the Romantic Angels Oracle cards, okay? This, I pulled this out just, just to give me a little bit more guidance. This right, this card right here is deception. I feel like that person from the past or the person you were dealing with is someone who's wearing a false, 
um, self-mask in this relationship. I feel like possibly in that relationship, they might have pretended it like a certain way, like they felt a certain way, like they cared about you and stuff like that, but they weren't completely honest. It was like a show that they were kind of putting on for you. Um, they deceived you. There was deception there. And I feel like they lied to you. They were not honest with you. They just pretended like they, there was a certain person, but they really weren't nothing like that. Okay. So just be careful before you want to really think about reconsidering actually going back with somebody. I feel like the way that you're, 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 you feel for this month, I feel like you're entering these situations naively, possibly like the fool, like you're not really looking, you're being very careless. I mean, this is a good card in all in all because this is like letting go of things that worry you and possibly for the month of February, you're going to say, hey, the hell with it. You know, we only live once. So let me enjoy my life. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys might feel that way. Like, let me just continue to move forward. Let me just um, live for me. Let me make my, ha my happy. I feel like life's a journey and you guys still have a whole journey to actually um witness so if this i don't feel like right now is the time to even be worried about that situation i know that you feel strongly for that situation and you really want to you know you cared about that person from the past but they've always had this mask and i feel like you're really not seeing them for who they really are okay this card right here um keep an open mind keep an open mind because i feel like when you guys have a type you have a type and you're not going to sell for anything besides that type so it's telling you keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations sometimes if we are set on a certain type we won't give any other type of a chance and if you realize if you always attract the type that you want and it's never working out with that type, sometimes it's kind of telling you like, hey, I need to really look, try somewhere else, try another another type. Don't be so stuck on just one type because sometimes when we're stuck on that one type, you, you're letting the, the moon pass you by because you're too busy stuck on this type and it's not even doesn't even work out with it, that particular type. So I feel like a lot of you guys possibly might find love for the month of February. Um... Someone that's unusual, someone that you're not used to dating, someone that's different. And I feel like possibly that'd be that'd be a good soulmate for you. Someone that's different. Don't have you ever heard opposites to attract. So just keep that in mind, you know. Um, another thing too, I feel like for those of you who are in a relationship, word and moderation is needed. I feel like there's deception that's in that relationship. Co collaboration it will have to be made if you really want things to work out. I feel like a lot of you guys might have your head in the clouds. Possibly illusions, possibly a lot of options. Maybe a lot of you guys who are single Sagittarius have a lot of um, options to choose from. Possibly a lot of, you know, potential partners that you talk to or a lot of people you might be around that you see that you have potential with them or to date them. Okay, I feel like for those of you who were dealing with someone from the past, Please believe when I tell you that this person is, wasn't honest with you, but at the same time, they were not honest with you, but they're not honest. People who they talk to or who they feel for, they're not honest to them too. So the same way they lie to you, they lie to others. And the same way that they lie to you in the for the other person or lie to you about another person, that person does it to them. So life is about circle. Karma is in a full effect. Um... That's uh, another thing too. I feel like this sign right here, this is um this is the nine of pentacles, okay? So the eight of pentacles is working hard. The nine of pentacles is like I feel like there there could possibly a per be a person that is around you that takes care of themselves. Like jewelry, they like uh diamonds, gold, do their hair, do their makeup. I feel like some of you guys might have that energy that's that's around you. Their possibly could be their um energy. Their energy is scattered. Maybe some of you guys might be dealing with somewhat of the sign of a fire sign. Fire signs can um signify um a Sagittarius, um, Aries or Taurus. So possibly you guys can be involved with another sign as you um energies are scattered. I don't see anything being firm or steady. I feel like for the month of February, um Really, you really need to focus on yourself. Try not to do um, movement without really thinking about it because some of you guys are thinking about traveling, moving or something. Um, a lot of you guys might feel like you don't live up to family traditions, like you're not the family traditional person that has 
what everybody else has. You're doing, you're doing things different. You're making your own path. You're making your own ways, okay? So let's see what else. Self-respect makes you more romantically. So this is something that I cannot stress. Okay, the, when you start to respect yourself, that is when you're going to attract someone else. So when they see that you respect yourself, then they're not going to treat you a certain way. They're going to say, hey, you know what? I can't treat them bad because they do love themselves and I'm not going to stand for it. So when you let people treat you however you let them, that's when people do whatever they want to do to you. So if they hurt you, they lie to you, and you continue to go back, they're going to continue to do it to you because they know that you're allowing it to happen. Okay? So that's that, that's something to really think about, really focus. Okay. Okay. So another thing too, for like this reconciliation here, that person coming back, pay attention to the red flags. I know a lot of you guys, you're smart and you're intelligent. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like that that bad person, that person that deceived you, that was wearing a mask on, ended up being something that you didn't think was. That person, you see the caution, you see the red flag, you, their signs are all there. They cannot be trusted. They're not honest. You're more invested than they are invested. The signs are cautioning you, so pay attention to them. Don't ignore the red signs. Don't ignore the fact that you know that they're showing signs again that they're lying, they're cheating. Possibly if you do take them back and reconcile with them, you already know that they're not being honest with you. You see the signs. You see how they're acting. You see how they haven't changed. So don't waste your time. If you know that the signs are there, release your ex. For those of you who are stuck on your ex, release them. This is time This time has come to clear your energy. Your energy needs to be completely clear so that you can find somebody new. Don't hold on to your ex. You need to release that ex for the month of February. That person is not good for you. They just lie to you, slander to you. They're not honest. They, they show you that they care, but they really don't care. They're not really invested like how you are. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Possibly some of you guys can be codependent on a person or maybe that person can become codependent on you. Codependency, addictions affecting your romantic life. I feel like the codependent thing affects your relationship, affects your future relationships. You have to learn how to be codependent, not to depend on a person because if you're dependent on the person and you feel like you can't live without them or breathe without them, that's not attractive. People don't want to be with someone that that can't have themselves, can't be their own person. Yes, you can be in a relationship, but it doesn't make sense for me to be or to talk to someone that is always dependent on me. So nobody wants a person like that. I feel like some of you guys might be codependent on the person that you date. And that, that kind of pushes the person away because they feel like you're not a man or you're not a woman because you're dependent on them. <laughs> you know, allow yourself to be more tractful. Allow yourself to be open up and to meet new people. Um, I feel like your your intentions are real, but they're not worth exploring. So if you don't leave the ex and relieve the past, you're never going to fully give your chance, yourself a chance to actually move forward. I feel like you're scared. Maybe you think everybody's the same. Everybody's going to hurt you. If you don't allow yourself to let go of that past and move forward, you're never going to give yourself a chance um a chance to move forward a chance to to really find somebody that is meaningful okay so you have to really you have to really work on that you can't really do that okay so you if you want to find love you really have to let go of the past you can't continue to be living on the flat on the on the past um, I feel like the next card for here is uh, reconciliation someone from your past is returning I feel like this person from your past possibly could return. And I feel like if if they return, it's not good. They're not honest with you. They kind of look at you as like being the fool. Free yourself. Okay, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself and take back that dignity. Take back that loving. Let yourself be loved. Let go of the past. That person that you might might want to reconcile with you, they kind of see you as a fool. They kind of see like, hey, I can take advantage of that person. 
because they love me, they care about me, and they're willing to do it, and I've done it multiple times, so who cares, you know, they're going to come back multiple times and want to talk to me multiple times, and either, no matter what I do, they're still going to take me back, so free yourself, so my advice to you, and this is the last card that I'm going to be reading for this reading, but free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life, you really need to just free yourself from that dead end, free yourself from that stagnant, free yourself where you feel like you really want, you really are looking for something that's genuine and you can't find it, but you're not going to find it if you're stuck on somebody from the past or you keep reminiscing on someone in the past, you keep taking the person that hurts you in the past. You really need to just free yourself and find yourself, really find yourself and see what's going on. Possibly you might find the one if you really free yourself. I feel like there's a lot. There's a lot, like, more that you have. Like, a lot more that you need to witness and see. So, don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Free yourself. Free yourself from things that don't make you happy.